Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Caligari Records and the Patreon account, as well as viewers like you. But we're going to be blasting Denmark's Hallucinate with their debut full length from the bowels of the earth. I legit need to get this on vinyl. Wanted to get it yesterday, but ran a little bit short. Oh my goodness. This was not at all what I expected. Like, I really liked um, the EP that came before this. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm not sure if it was an EP or a demo. I'm drawing a blank, and I hope I'm not getting it confused with another project. Because for a while, I was getting Eye Master and Hallucinate confused. But they're both on Caligari, and they both rule. But Hallucinate... Wow. Like, seriously, wow. This is some weird... But not too weird, just absolutely crushing death metal. And all the stuff that I say is weird is what makes it, like, legit, like, whoa. Like, did you hear that part? Like, it's one of those, like, I've rewound certain riffs, like, over and over. I've been putting off this review for a couple weeks, honestly. Because every time I listen, I hear something new. And whether that's vocals, like, buried underneath other vocals, just certain riffs, it's so insane sounding at times. And, uh, if you're a fan of, like, Morbus Kron, like, especially, like, I, again, I should just go grab the 7-inch, but Creeping Creepy Creeps or whatever, and Morbus Kron, it's right here, so. Creepy Creeping Creep. But, um, this is, a uh, what's it called? Sleeper in the Rift. If you're a fan of Sleeper in the Rift by Morbus Kron, if you've never even heard Hallucinate, I guarantee you're going to love this. This is the complete opposite of Trendy. And again, this is another Caligari release. That just says to what's going on with like main like with with what's popular in extreme music right now. Like the Skull of Pendria release is to me like just wow. It's so good. And like I knew it was gonna be so good because I heard those of the catacombs and instantly like fell in love with just their sound. But with Hallucinate from the bowels of the earth, like it's just something you have to pay attention to. And at the same time, like just kick back and enjoy the death metal. Cause again, you're probably not going to hear another album like this in 2023. Like, I'm sure there's some other weird death metal bands out there, but what Hallucinate do is, like, make the weirdness work in such a way that it, like, legit, aside from, like, Morbus Kron... And a few other bands. I don't know who Hallucinate really even sound like. Coming from Denmark, you would think like, oh, it's just another Kill Town band. They're going to be awesome. It's going to have sick, like, sewer vocals. No. 
No. You get the complete opposite. And I love that. Because, like, you get two ends of this coin. And I didn't know that. Like, I legit thought mostly all death metal from Denmark went down that, like, really heavy, gross route in modern times. But Hallucinate have proved me wrong by legitimately coming out with a bombastic slab of death metal. Because this sounds like I just ate way too many mushrooms and like, what? Oh my god. It's just wow. So well written, yet nothing's over. It's not overly weird. And that's what, like, it just hits that sweet spot. Like, just look at that cover. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, the liquid art by Hallucinate, artwork, photos by Lippo? Lupo? I'm sorry. But, I'm so impressed with, I mean, and I don't even know who's actually in this band. Because they use stage names. The lyrics are, wow. Again, just like, what the hell? Like, this is just sick. And the instrumental track on here is so gnarly. Like, there's... Like, the guitar solo... Oh, my. The guitar work in general. Normally, again, this is... Such a good mashup of, like, technical death metal... Just straight up heavy knuckle dragging, like straight forward death metal, weird progressive shit, and just keeping it fucking heavy front to back. The vocals are fantastic. And we have Persecutor on guitars, vocals, sitar, and bass. Horrified on drums and vocals and madness on guitar. There's a vibraphone on track five. It's just super gnarly. And you even have guest vocals by Robert Anderson from Morbus Cron. December 2022. But like this legit sounds like a killer mid 90s slab of death metal. Like, it's different enough that, like, everything else that's, like, trendy right now, this destroys just when it comes to thinking outside the box. <laughs> And again, this was a release that I kind of just, I, I knew, I was like, alright, like, this is gonna be a banger. And I was helping Caligari, like, kind of promote. Because, again, I, I knew, like, alright, this is going to hopefully catch some people's attention that don't know about Hallucinate. Because, I, again, like I said, I really feel they're one of the few bands that, like I said, they think outside of the box in a way that's like, Whoa. How did how did you make that work? And it's legit curious and 
Because there's stuff on here that legit, you're, you're like, wait, like, where are they going from here? How's that go? What the? Like, what? And then it, it just gets sicker and sicker. And then by the end of the track, it's like, wait, what was I even, like, confused about? Because, like, there's so many moving parts, but at the same time, like, just so good. I mean, if you have an open mind, as soon as you hear a universe obscure, you're going to be like, all right, like, buy, like, buy meaning purchase, and Black Smokers, Blackened Hills, everything on here is, like, just ridiculous. Crimson Rain, like, just hallucinate. From the bowels of the earth. Wow. Again, you can see that if you, you might have to get your own copy to see what's going on. This is available on vinyl. Like, so sick. Like, when I saw, again, like, when I saw this was available on vinyl, I was like, wow. And same with, like, the Skull of Pendria. Like, it's something that I feel like, man, they should have grabbed that. But if you're a patron, you saw what was picked up this month. And it is some gnarly picks. And I thank you folks so much. Because a lot of you legit, like, have a very similar taste in music as myself. Like, some people will hit me up and be like, hey, I like that drug church band you've been posting. Do you have any of their physical releases? And they're not a metal band. But, like, I'll pull the trigger on some drug church. And I did. So, we have Cheer coming to the channel. And I am so stoked to go over that record with you folks. Because I hope... I know some of you are gonna just be like, this is fucking stupid. Like, this sucks. This isn't heavy. Not everything in your life needs to be heavy. I, I don't get it. I really don't. Why do you want to pigeonhole yourself just so you can be like, I'm true. I'm not a poser. Who cares? As long as you're not wearing, like, you know... An ICP shirt to the Black Witchery show. Even then, who gives a shit? Unless you're gl it's glow in the dark or something and it's bothering me. You get what I mean? Like, but otherwise, I don't give a shit. Like, sorry if you're a poser. That sucks. But, like, if you're like 12 years old, you're 12. You don't know this shit yet. And I know those words sound painful. Like, uh, I, I, I remember, like, the older kids, I felt when I was younger, like, you just gotta be real good at bike riding. And you'll be in and, like, you know, you'll be able to ride with those guys. Because, legitimately, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 19. That doesn't mean I didn't fool around and all that stuff. But, like, I'm talking, like, a real girl girlfriend. Like, going on dates, et cetera, et cetera. I only have one real one as well. And we're still good friends. And... I appreciate, you know, that relationship, and what was I talking about? This is fucking important. Brain injuries, folks. What? And I was wearing a helmet, but still, man, it, that stuff bothers me. I had something legit important I wanted to say, and, oh, about riding bikes with the older kids in town. So, like, 
I, I, I just remember them, like, calling, like, certain people posers. But, like, I was hanging out. So, just the fact that I was hanging out and, like, kind of progressing my riding because I was riding with older people. So, like, when I got the chance, like, hey, Schnell, you should grind that bike rack. I'm like, oh, like, you know, I've never done that. Like, I'm in seventh grade, you know. It's like, ah, oh, fuck it. And, like, you crotch the bike rack. It's like, oh, like, you, you don't know how to, like, get your front peg on. And then, got, like, nobody back then was telling you what to do. They were like, just hop next to the rack. That's not how, you know. You want to make sure you can get on to it first and then guide your front peg on and then your back will follow and then kind of lean in, see where you are, and th that's it. You grind to the end of the bike rack or hop over or whatever you want to do or whatever you have to do. But I just remember, like, I didn't want to be known as like a poser and like i was real into hardcore and like the misfits and death metal and like i even had like a crimson ghost glow in the dark <laughs> speaking of glow in the dark misfits glow in the dark sticker on the head tube of my bike like right up front and my friend who got me into like straight edge and you know Going to hardcore shows on like a day, almost on like a bi daily, you know, basis. Like every other day we were going to a hardcore show. But if I wanted to go to a death metal show, guess who's going by themselves? Until I joined Skeleton Proof Tanks and also got a girlfriend because she, I'd get her a ticket every once in a while. If it was a band I knew she was, like, into. Or, like, if Pig Destroyer was coming through or, or something like that. Like, and it wasn't a 21 and up show before we both turned 21. That was an actual problem. There were so many gnarly shows in Philly. Like, Isis with, like, Mastodon. And it's, like, 21 and up. And it's just, like... Just let me, like, I'm not gonna drink. Just let me in. And you end up, like, you know, eventually, like, maybe they would let you in. But sometimes they wouldn't. And you would just be all night, like, just listening outside. But, hey, back in the day, like I was saying, we had some ridiculous 21 and up shows. Like, luckily, I remember I had just turned 21. Crowbar was entombed, Strock Balcony. And I, I remember another time, my, my ex went with me. Soylent Green headlining into the moat and like some metal, two like fake pants, uh, Dead to Fall and some bullshit. I, I know I know my guitar player likes into the moat, uh, like a a fake Dillinger, you know, like that type of stuff. But I was there for Soylent Green, like I love Soylent Green, especially Pussy Soul and Sewn Mouth. Like those two records are like, oh my goodness, so so. So good and weird. And also, I'm bringing Soil and Green up for a minute because also, that's the only other band besides Morbus Cron. I, and this, this doesn't sound like Soil and Green, but just the whole attitude of let's make some weird shit. Hallucinate from the bowels of the earth on Caligari Records. So good. I don't want to call it thinking. You know, you know that term that used to go around, like, thinking man's death metal? It's not 
like that. It's more like LSD riddled. The band's called Hallucinate. Come on. But seriously, they take death metal down to this level of depravity that is like just. I wish I had a word for it. Because aside from being mature, it still sounds very organic. Even the production is very organic. It's crispy. I, I fucking love it. And again, like the cover art to me is amazing. It's just this motoring. Oh, it's just gorgeous, honestly. I would love to see this on 12 inches of wax. It's so cool. I, I just absolutely am in love with the cover art. And I'm just in love with Hallucinate, this band, and From the Bowels of the Earth, one of my favorite releases of 2023 so far, and I'm not even remotely fucking around. So, definitely check out on Caligari Records, Hallucinate, From the Bowels of the Earth, 9.5 out of 10, if I had to give that a number score. Thank you again to Caligari Records for making today's video possible, as well as the Patreon account. Make sure you sign up for this month's contest and stuff. Prizes will be announced and whatnot soon. It's going to be gnarly, but it's going to be quality over quantity, so it's not going to be like 10 t-shirts and stuff it's you'll see it's going to be gnarly that's all i'm going to say for now but all you have to do is just be a patron one dollar but every five dollars gets you another entry fee but now i am going to have to pick the winner on the 5th of october okay just so nobody takes their money out. That, and I I get it, like, for real, I do. I complete. Like, you can take your money out as soon as the contest is over. But, do, like, a lot of people I saw, like, like I said, somebody donated 400 smackaroos. And I'm like, oh my god, I made this ridiculous list of records and cassettes for the channel and i'm thinking i'm like all right it's september 4th i have the list made i posted like the winner and everything of the contest on the second i even got that person the goods the day they won there was no waiting at whatsoever so, I'm going to ask um, Aaron to send me photos of everything, and I'll post them on the Patreon so you can see everything he won for a $15 donation. Like, he got really lucky. There was somebody that had 40, 40 entries, but they pulled their, they pulled their shit, and as I was like, where is, and like, as I was talking to the person too, and I'm like, where did they go? Like, where's that, that name? Cause like, I was going by the usernames when I was doing the randomizer and I couldn't find, and I'm like, man, like, did he cancel? And I was kind of bummed, but then, you know, it is what it is. Still, it was $162. We got some gnarly, gnarly shit coming to the channel. Thanks mostly to Caligari. All the Dark Descent stuff are, are pre-orders from, like, May and June. So, like, Morbus Cron. I mean, not Morbus Cron. Morpheus Descends LPs. The Undergang. LPs, those all come with 
other releases. Okay? So, just know, like, that's happening. But Caligari yesterday, and today, their distro is insane. The new Dripping Decay, full length on cassette, secured. Profane Order EP, the one release I do not have from Profane Order, finally secured. And, oh, what was that last one? Because I was like, oh my goodness. Like, oh, the first wear goat. Like, hell yeah. Um, Drug Church Grubby on, uh, on cassette and vinyl. Um, a lot of gnarly stuff coming. That's, because the pre-orders on 20 bucks spin kind of give it away. Grave Send, LP, and Tape, Ruin Lust, Cassette, could not afford the LP as well. And there's more. So, yeah. But, Hallucinate, from the bowels of the earth. I need to get this on vinyl, and you need to check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, as always, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah. <laughs>